Hey guys, so if you are here watching this video, then chances are you probably watched my other video, which led you to this one. And if you haven't, I'll leave a link in the description box below that will get you to that video. Basically, it's a workout video. I do one every day. I'm vlogging, documenting, whatever you want to call it, um, my weight loss journey that I'm on. And I started at 261 pounds. I'm now down to 248 point something. I want to create a channel that um, consists of different things. I still want to tap into my creative side with my DIY projects and things like that. Um, but I still want to um, also do things that are kind of consistent with my everyday life. So. Um, let's get started uh, if you're here from my other video then you have an idea of what this one's gonna be about and here we go let's start that um, I want to give a few shout outs I guess you could say um, I have I, I don't have a million subscribers like you know some of these other youtubers I'm not YouTube famous I'm just an average Joe and um, I'm just like anybody else, really. I woke up one morning and decided, man, today is the day that I want to do this. Um, so first off, my suggestion to anybody is, if you've ever wanted to reach a goal or um, you have a drive to make a YouTube channel, do it. Um, you can do all kind of privacy settings and different things like that to where, um, you know, you don't get discouraged. You don't have um, thumbs up, thumbs downs, bad comments, whatever you want to call it. Um, this can be so therapeutic and so stress relieving and I think it's totally worth it. Um, like I said, I woke up one morning and decided this is what I wanted to do. Was I scared? Heck yeah! I mean, who wakes up one morning and decides they want to, you know, plaster their body on the internet and put their weight out there? But hey, I guess I'm that one crazy person, right? Um, so, I actually had a friend who I hadn't spoke to, you know, really in depth in a long time. We we used to talk all the time because we went to school together. Anyways, this person messaged me, and you know who you are. <laughs> and um, she was the first person to really tell me, you know, hey, I watch your videos, and you're really inspirational, and, you know, I, I think you're really brave for what you did. And it kind of took me back at first because I was like, wow, you know, like, this one person really feels this way, and, and, um, how should, how am I supposed to feel? <laughs> uh, because, really, like, when I'm talking into this camera, I do feel like I'm talking to somebody. Um, so for her to kind of reconfirm that she feels like I'm speaking directly to her, um, it, it's been a really cool experience and I'm so appreciative like people don't have to watch my videos people don't have to click on those links but they do and um, even if it's just 30 views like that means something really special to me because when I'm about to pick up something unhealthy and I'm about to s just blah, stuff it in my face I'm like wait a minute there's like a few people who I'm going to have a guilty conscience with later if I'm looking into this camera and thinking to myself, I'm doing all this hard work and I'm over here messing around and eating and going crazy when I'm off the camera. Um, so it, it gives you something to think about. Um, and now that she's, you know, messaged me, I'm like, I, she comes to mind. And um, it also gives me that motivation to get up and to do these videos so if that's what kind of motivation you need um, basically to have people you know um, see what you're doing and keep up with you daily and things like that it's kind of like having a trainer honestly um, because if you stop I mean what you know like somebody out there is gonna notice that you stopped especially those people who are consistently watching your videos so thank you to that person for messaging me and um, I want you to know that I do feel like I'm sitting here talking to you and everything that we message back and forth about um, you know I wish that I could just be like talking to you face to face right here um, 
and we will totally plan a meeting and and get together soon and have some fun and thank you so much for the recipes thank you so much for you know um just everything and this person so <laughs> i had like a big headed moment and i didn't mean to but i was like oh wow this is so cool this must be how other youtubers feel right the famous ones where someone sees what these youtubers are, do are doing and are like i really feel like i should contribute to their cause or i want to send them something and and just different things like that um that friend that i was mentioning before messaged me and was like you know i've seen what you're doing and i wanted to let you know so this is a surprise that means so much to me it might not mean that much to you but like i'm ecstatic and i wish i could jump up and down but there's people asleep I'm going to be getting a treadmill soon because of this person. This person was like, you know, hey, you know, for whatever reason, you know, I want to give it to you um, because I'm not using it or I don't need it or, or whatever the reasoning behind it was. Um, they were like, here, it's yours. All you got to do is come pick it up. And I'm like, what? I literally prayed for a treadmill. You have no idea. I prayed so hard. I sat down on the couch, spoke to my dad the day that I started this and was like, Dad, I think I want to save up my money to get a treadmill, but I kind of want to save up my money to get a bike. Which do you think I should do? He was like, this is up to you. That's a decision you got to make. And I was like, oh, that's a tough decision. But thanks to this person, I'm going to have a treadmill soon. And I'm like, thank you. Thank you for that. Secondly, I want to give a shout out to um, someone who I used to work with. Um, actually, two people I used to work with have messaged me. Um, one is just like way super sweet, sweetest, one of the sweetest people I've ever met in my entire life. Ever, ever, ever met in my entire life. Um, she just always has the kindest things to say. She always is checking in on people. Um, she is definitely a woman of her word and has just made me feel like like I'm doing something good like I know I am but to hear it from her like I said someone who's just so kind and nice is it's pretty awesome I really it means a lot to me and I wanted to say thank you um you know who you are and the third person besides like my other friends and my family and you know other people who support me just in my everyday life my dad for giving me this you know um something to look towards as far as like health wise and stuff like that um and you know my family who has said hey i'm really proud of you keep it up um there's this third friend of mine who like i said um worked with me and she is one of the most, uh, gosh, you know who you are because you and I have this special, special bond. Um, Strong-willed, dedicated, hard-working people I know. And, um, oh, I'm getting all, like, sappy. <laughs> and you're probably laughing at me. Um, but she went through um her own weight loss journey and i watched her and she would always you know tell me these motivational things and i don't know what it was and i, I would get started and and then the spark would just go away and she'd say man don't do that to yourself you know like you can do this keep going and i just i could never get that jump and that drive and it just it bothered me a lot but her no she always had that spark she was ready to go she was ready to keep going. She was always, always on top of it. Like, it didn't matter whether people were there or they weren't there. She was on top of it. So she messaged me and was kind of saying the same things along the lines of what other people have said as far as I'm proud of you and keep going. And then one day, the, the day that I hurt myself, she, um, like I said, she's strong-headed. She called me and... I don't want to say she let me have it, but she told me the truth about myself. <laughs> and she said, she calls me Jones. She said, Jones, you are just going crazy. You're all over the place. You're working your whole body out. Um, 
you you know you just you just went it this way too hard <laughs> and uh it just it, it was funny and it made me laugh but she was being serious and she has been that type of person ever since I've known her um and we've had this bond that we have to we both kind of are to tell us the truth about ourselves you know like hey man this is what you're doing um but at the end of the day be really supportive and just I mean I don't know I don't know what else to say like she will see this and she will know that this is coming from here and it's very meaningful and so thank you to you and um the last shout out I know I said that probably about the last one but this one is really this one's for my best friend and I don't think she'll care that I mentioned her in a video but Hannah <laughs> I want to say thank you for always um, being there by my side and making stuff funny all the time because, you know, there are a lot of things that you and I have been through and I don't think that either one of us would be where we are right now if it wasn't for each other. And even when we argue or even when we fight, it's really like, it's really nothing in comparison to what other people have. Um, and you better stay my best friend forever because dang it if you don't I'm gonna have to come back and look at this video and be like man but I know that's never gonna happen so so I know that we will be like this for ever until we're old and gray and I'm gonna be sexy and skinny and you know if people think that skinny is sexy some people don't some people think all sizes and shapes are sexy but to me I just want to be kind of thick you know what I mean <laughs> but um, she'll get this sense of humor and uh, but really though thank you for making even when I'm hurt and you want to stick me in a bubble thank you for making those times fun because you give me that motivation I need to so I love you okay so on to the next stuff. I went to the doctor today and um, I'm still a little bit anxious because nothing was um, really determined today. This was basically an appointment to set me up to get all these tests run and stuff um, about the stuff that I had mentioned. The pelvic inflammatory disease that was caused from the um, STD that I was given. Uh, some years back. I had a cycle recently that lasted for 14 days and I was ready to kill somebody but um and so that gave me like some inflammation in my uterus and if you don't know what I'm talking about I'm sorry I'm really trying to get to the point but this stuff is kind of important. So basically they gave me some medicine they couldn't really do much today because they didn't want to cause me any pain. Um, I have an appointment uh, next actually at the end of this week on Friday to um, read the results from my blood test and um, do an ultrasound on my uterus and my ovaries and just you know my pelvic region um, abdominal region like the lower area yeah anyways um so yeah, I, have an, I have an ultrasound for that. That is the appointment that she said we may or may not be able to check my fallopian tubes as well. Um, if my ovaries are damaged from the pelvic inflammatory disease, then it's a given that my fallopian tubes are damaged. Um, because the way it travels is obviously it go, travels inside the woman, in through her uterus, up through her fallopian tubes, and then into her ovary. So it's basically like a reverse of what happens when an egg drops. Um, so if that's the case and that's what they see, then we know already that basically my reproductive area, and it could just be one side or both sides, but basically that it's just shot. Um, but if not, then that's when they can check the passages in the fallopian tubes. Don't ask me how they do that. I was afraid to ask. I don't want to know. I will ask at my next appointment. And then I will let y'all know that day how they did it. So, um, as of today, I didn't get anything confirmed except for the fact that, like I said, my uterus is inflamed. Um, and they did give me some medications for that. And, um, we got, we went over my patient file, all that good stuff. And 
that's pretty much how my day went. I'm feeling, you know what? I feel so, 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 so much better since I got that stuff off my chest um, yesterday. And that was such a hard vlog for me to do. And thank you for those of you who shared it. Thank you for those of you who loved it, liked it. I'm noticing, you know, the pattern in people who are watching those videos who, who understand the importance and how hard that was for me. Man, you have no idea. <laughs> Um, so, yeah, thank you to all of you. And, uh, yeah, I just keep saying yeah, and like, and um, and I really need to get out of that habit. But you guys, I needed, I, I need some ideas, and I'm not, I'm not, like, you know, like I said, I, I, I want feedback from you guys in the comments, or messages, or whatever, because I feel like it's more personal, I feel like, we can, you know, communicate one-on-one, -on -one. and uh, when I look at this camera, like I said, I feel like I'm speaking to somebody, but, like, that confirmation when I get those messages and stuff helps me out. So let me know um, any comments, tricks, tips, things like that um, that you want to leave down below um, in the comment section. I need some ideas for uh, workouts for one part of the body at a time because I'm going to take that advice from the two people that I got it from. I need to work on different sections of my body one day at a time. I'm going to take that advice. Secondly, like I said, I'm splitting up these vlogs um, and workouts, you know, in the, in the way that I see fit. Um, also, I need some interesting ideas. What are some DIY stuff that y'all want to see? What is an idea for how to make these vlogs more interesting besides me sitting here and talking? Um, what are some workout ideas that you have? Guys, just let me know anything, really. Like, anything that comes to mind when you watch these videos, let me know. I would love to see what you guys have to say. Thank you again to all those people. Uh, comment subscribe like my videos go watch my workout videos um and i'll check in with you later remember we can do this bye